It's hollow, shout out Purple World. We out here cooking up. I bet niggas run, yo, when I tap that fully. New Celine glasses just to match my hoodie. Yeah, this week I made 30, put that on my kids. It ain't nothing but pints of wax sitting in my fridge. I got bank rolls that's five years old. What's good, do over don't? Today we got another videographer on the show. It's been a minute. I like sprinkling these in occasionally. But we got, I, I hate jumping straight into the intro, but fucking every time I have a guest on, and here I go breaking those square room. Every single time I have a guest on, get the good ass answers out of them of just random ass conversation beforehand. And I wish I started the podcast earlier. But today we got Mr. Shot by Hollow or just Hollow. What, what you like people calling you? Um, it don't matter. Like, whatever, whatever you feel me? Probably just Hollow. Uh, so so shit. Got Mr. Hollow on the podcast today. What's good? How you, how you been? How was the drive from New Bedford? We just talked about that. <laughs> um, Honestly, shit, shit ain't nothing now. I'm trying. I'm starting to get used to like the road and shit. Uh, yeah. We flying now. Feel me? I just got back from Houston, so like driving's like. I was gonna say you've been like all over the place the past couple of weeks, from what it seems like. Yeah, I've been. I'm burnt, but I'm this. I like this. Feel me? I'd rather be burnt out than just lazy sitting around. You feel me? Uh, you seem like the dude from what you just told me before, and also too because the fact that we try to do the pod twice and you're like yeah i gotta travel <laughs> you seem like yeah. the dude that you're just always last minute it's like someone calls you yo i need to shoot i need you fucking in philly like you were just yeah, talking I, about i used to like wonder like damn why are people like that like feel me but shit really just be happening like people really just be like i get it now i understand like i don't ever want to seem like i'm too hollywood or like i, I really want to show up you know what i mean so like uh, and i appreciate you having me on here it means a lot like oh, yeah. i never think in my life i'll ever be on some shit like this like for me so I could cry like tears, no bullshit, because like, shit means a lot. Of course, dog. Of course. Nah, you've been putting in the work. <laughs> you've been I putting in the work. You. Ryan's been trying to get me to fucking get you on for a minute, so. Yo, we need we need Ryan, like, feel me? I need to interview Ryan one day, bro. bro. He's been going crazy, bro. He's been going stupid, bro. Ryan, Ryan will need one. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Ryan been putting in work. Shout out, out yeah. Ryan, bro. Shout out, Ryan. Shout out, Ryan. But this is about you right now. Sorry, right guy. <laughs> <laughs> this is about you. <laughs> but... Fucking just the chaoticness. Like, give them a rundown of the past two weeks of just shoots and shit. <laughs> shoots. Believe it or not, yo, I just learned how to use my gimbal. Like, <laughs> I'm a, I feel like I'm a cameraman now. Like, I'm working my way. You feel me? Like, I got to work on my, like, I don't know. Like, I, I do my thing with the edits, the effects shit, but, like, I want to be a better, like. Cinematographer. Yeah, exactly. I want to really, like, feel me? Go, go, let's go back to the foundation of it and really, like. Turn shit up. I, I want to be like the jack of all trades. I want to be like good at coloring, like editing. In feel me. What do you Just, feel your biggest strength is right now? With that? Um, I would say putting it together and like, um, yeah, putting it together, putting it together. No bullshit. Like in the program and shit on the timeline. You know what I'm saying? Uh, are you more of the hands-on director where you like to co uh, come up with the concepts and stuff, or do you have more people that approach you and they're like, oh, I want to do this, blah blah blah. Um, I, I could do that, but my style, I like to freestyle and shit. Like, freestyle, do so. Oh, like, I noticed that I like working with people that bring their own treaties. It like makes my job easier. Feel me? But like, my style is freestyle. But now I want to get into more like skits and stuff like that. Like yesterday, I just shot a skit. I was in Brockton. I was shooting for like six hours. I thought I was only supposed to be shooting for one or two, but <laughs> feel me? Like I was like, oh shit, fuck it. I learned how to use. Feel me? Learn how to use my gimbal now. So, with it. How long have you had the gimbal for? I would say for like three months. Three like months? at first, I, I put it all together and shit, and I'm just like <laughs> trying yeah, to figure yeah. out. It's it's mad trick. It's like learning how to fucking um learn how to drive. Nah, it's, it's more harder than that. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you this right now. Normally, I, I wait till later to ask people this, but the equipment. How impactful do you think it is upgrading equipment, or do you feel like it's the person more? Um, like, can, can you say that again? Is it the person or is it the equipment? What do you think is more? Um, it's the, it's the uh, person, it's the person, but eventually you're gonna, you're gonna perfect your craft and it's time to upgrade. It's, it's time to go higher. It's time to like, feel me? So you gotta get a new camera, feel me? You gotta get a new lens eventually. You're, you're gonna be killing shit, but eventually everybody else is gonna start killing shit too with their shit. So you just gotta stay ahead of the game and shit. You know what I mean? You always wanna be like steps ahead. So like. I mean, you can have, like, the best product, I feel like, uh, to give to the people and shit. A lot of people, they just start, and they're like, oh, I want to shoot music videos. Oh, I need to go buy an $8,000 camera. It's like, bro, I feel like from my perspective and any aspect of shit, when you start low, 
and you build it up, it's way better. It's like fucking um, Xbox achievements, bro. Every time you get that little yeah. piece, it's like you get to see the little gamer score achievement unlock type shit in the top corner of your fucking screen. Yeah, pe- mm. I-, I get what you're saying because, like, I'm pathetic. Like, I'll just go for the best shit. Like, you will? <laughs> yeah, but then when I get it, I'm like, damn. Like, that, like feel me? when I got my camera, I'm like, all right, like, I could have settled for something, like, a little bit less. Like, I don't know. Feel me? Like, but, yeah, cause you could still kill it because, like, at first, I, I should have just started with my iPhone for real. Like, feel me? Like, I could really do that shit. iPhone videos nowadays are going crazy. Yo, I actually got one I'm working on right now really? with um, my boy uh, Tifa J from, from Brockton and shit. He flew to DR and, like, damn me. Got me all the footage and shit, so I'm, I'm about to drop something crazy. Like. Shh. That's so weird you're talking about DR. We literally were just talking about going to DR right before you came in. <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> I swear to God, right before you came in, yeah. yeah. How um, th- th- how were you talking about the quality and shit, the shifts between it? All the people out there that they sit there and they complain and they're like, oh, I don't have anything to shoot videos. What what do you say to that? How you were just talking about, oh, I wish you, I used Hit me up. I'll let you buy on my camera. <laughs> Damn, you're like that? Rent, rent fee, though. Little, probably give me a little $50. Feel me? I'll let you shoot, go shoot a video. Damn. <laughs> you're generous for that. I'll be charging more yeah, than 50 yeah, I wanna, if I want to. I want to see everybody win, like, especially in my city. Like, It's hard coming out of my city. It's, like, a lot, it's, it's a crab in a barrel mentality over there. And like, But I came back from Houston. I'm on some whole other shit. Like, I really want to see everybody win, even if you feel me. Like, I beat you up in high school. Or, like, feel me? Like, you shit it on me. Like, it's all good. Like, feel me? I want to see everybody win. Like, I'm trying to say, like, because then, because then, when they win, maybe I'll win. You never know, like, feel me? It all come around in a circle. That makes sense. And also, too, bro, it's just like I feel like if you're actually about this shit, you sort of just realize, unless there's some serious, serious personal issues, everybody's in the same fucking boat. Why wouldn't I want to see everyone around me win? Type yeah, shit, especially yeah. the people that love it and they're willing to put in the work, and you see them fucking grinding at it. It's like. Even if I don't fuck with you, I want to see you fucking win. Yeah, nah, hell yeah, yeah, yo. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yo. nah, I completely understand that. I want to dive deeper, though, and you're talking about New Bedford. Just talk about what that was like growing up. You, you were in New Bedford your whole life? Yeah, I've been in New Bedford my whole yeah. life. Yo. Growing up over there, though, early early life, childhood, and all that, nitty-gritty. I like to call it the superhero origin story. Oh, what you mean? Hollow's early life. This is where you get bit by the spider and shit. You ever watch Spider-Man? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay, get, yeah. <laughs> it's where Uncle movie. Ben gets fucking clapped and shit. Yo, I watched that movie so much, so many bro. times. Like, uh, bro, classic, bro. I feel like anyone in this age range when fucking Tobey Maguire Spider Man's came out, bro, that was just yeah, fucking yeah. Every, all everyone would watch, bro. All everyone would watch. But early life, what? What's early life, mean? all right. So like, as far as I, I went to boys club. I saw I met a lot of people like from boys and girls club. Come on. And, um, yeah, I met a lot of good people. I'm still in touch with them, like, every day. Like, I'm I'm glad, like, feel me? My parents put me in there and shit because, like, I still meet these people day to day, you feel me? So I'm, like, I'm familiar. I, I know some familiar faces that are meeting everybody, like, brand new and shit. Feel me? Like, so, yeah, I, I went to boys club. Um, school, obviously. They, they, there ain't really much going, what's going on and, feel me, like, carousel and shit. You play any sports or anything? I used to play football. Play football? Bullshit. Yeah. Football. What were your hobbies when you were younger? Like, what's I, I used to um, skateboard and shit, believe it or you not. You were a skater? Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm here. I still, like, I couldn't land a kickflip, but I really wanted to learn so bad. I'm just like, went to Solstice. This, feel me? If, if you know New Bedford, you know about Solstice and shit. Like, feel me? You go there, cop a board. You can make your own shit. Like, Damn. Chilling shit. How um you feel? Because I always tell people the skate culture is tied in so much with the music, art, all of that shit, and people undermine that a lot of the time. But whatever you learn from skate culture, going into the music industry as you got older, are there any lessons you took and applied it? I always love asking people that said that they skateboarded that. I don't know if there um, is or not, but um yeah yeah actually it could apply to music because like if you want to learn a new trick, all right you gotta you gotta reach out. You, you feel me? You you're sick of like you sick of being the same like. You sick of just learning how to just ollie? You don't want to ollie no more. You want to learn how to tray flip? Feel me? You're gonna go ask the homie over there that's doing tray flips and feel me grinding down the stairs on the fucking thing. You feel me? Like yeah. gonna go ask him. So you gotta like and the music and like feel me out here doing your thing as a cameraman. You gotta reach out, like put your ego and pride aside. Even though like feel me, don't be don't be stuck in that mentality. You gotta like that's how you're gonna get. You never know if that person could take you to the next level. And what's the worst thing that they're gonna say? Like oh like they're gonna ignore you or like. 
Feel me? Feel me? You never, you never know. You just gotta like take that, take that chance and shit. Roll the dice. What are some instances you feel like that's paid off? Because that's something a lot of people undermine. Is just the importance of just you could fucking reach out to the biggest person, and if you don't do it, it's never gonna happen. But if you do do it, it might be fucking that one percent chance that you message Drake and he fucking answers. Or yeah, or all right, so I, bro, I met, I been able to message everybody like for real, for real, like. And I remember who who hits me back and shit. And, and if they don't, it's all good. Like they'll, we'll we'll work together eventually. But I would want to say when I reached out to Chris, man, feel me. Um, he's, this is Cal's manager, Fredo's manager, all that shit. Shout out Chris. Yeah, shout out Chris. I reached out to him. At first, I was like, honestly, I ain't gonna reach out to nobody because I don't know. I feel like everybody's just in it for themselves. But like, feel me. To, I was like, yo, like, feel me. I reached out to him. We could do business together. Whoop de whoop. And then like, he was like, all right, bet. Let's try this shit out. And then eventually, like, he got me the uh, the video with Cal and shit. Feel me? Got me to do that shit. Which video was it again? I did um uh, Cal's trailer. I know you did the trailer, yeah. but was there a music video too or no? Nah, nah, no, no video, video yet. The trailer, no the trailer was fire though. Nah, I appreciate you. Fire. I was gonna ask you about that for a second. I thought you said you edited a video for him. That's why, like, a music video. That's why I was like, oh no, no, not yet, not yet. Mate, in the works, in the works. No bullshit. Fire. fire. Keep going on though about just the importance of reaching out. Like, oh yeah, reaching out like. You got. Oh yeah, you you just gotta. Hey, no one's gonna hit you back right away, but if you keep doing it, if you be consistent with it, you're gonna run into the right person because. If you want to get money, bro, you got to like you got to connect with other people and you got to you got to help other people get connected. You feel me like That's that's how it works in my opinion. I'm going to ask you this cuz I haven't brought I think people yep. normally bring this up, but how do you properly approach somebody? And this is for all you motherfuckers in my DM that just message me, yo, or bro. I'm not going <laughs> to fucking do a podcast with you, bro. I've gotten like 15 messages this week. Yo, bro. <laughs> Yo, yo! I'm like, dude, oh, yeah. I've never, I've never talked to you. I what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, dude. All right, so first of all, and I got the, I got the same shit. People be in my inbox like, yo, yo, yo you got no profile picture, bro. Yeah, like, bro. Oh, fuck. Like, what you mean, yo? I'm gonna think you trying to lie to me, like. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, bro. Talk I've seen you. videographers literally deny people videos for that shit, but they don't have any profile picture, no fucking anything up because yeah. it's like I would. And they'll be blowing you up. They'll be calling you and be like. What but you I, trying to do? And, and then and then if I don't answer you, you're gonna tell your boy I was a dickhead, right? Nah, it's cause you got no prof- bro. Add a profile picture, get some followers. You know what I mean? Post a picture of yourself. Who gives like, a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I want an example though. How how to approach someone correctly, and then from your experiences, how to absolutely not uh, approach somebody. All right. Um. I would approach somebody, just tell them your intentions. Like, why do you want to fuck with them? Like, all right, you're hitting me up for a video. All right. Um. Yo, Hollow, what's up? Like, I want a video and shit. Blah blah blah. I got a, I got this as a budget. Can you make this work? If not, feel me? Like, sound like that. What's the unproper way? <laughs> Besides the yo and bro, what are some of the horror stories you've seen of people hitting you up? <sighs> you give one, one. In. <laughs> okay. I can't, I can't think of one right now. I ain't gonna lie. Right like, there's definitely been a few. Like, feel me? Like. I've heard like crazy. Oh, someone, yeah. Don't 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 call me at three a.m., bro. I ain't trying to talk to you. <laughs> I ain't even trying to talk to myself. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> people be just blowing up the phone at three in the morning. Yeah, bro. don't call my phone at three, bro. Is it people that you already have a video with, or is it people that literally are just random people trying to get a video? No, nah, sometimes I got people I got a video with too. Feel me, bro. Oh, yeah. If, you gotta, if, gotta tell them straight up though. Like I don't like that. You feel me? Gotta draw yeah, the line. Uh, they'll, feel me? they'll be like, all right, bet. If you got a video with people, it's more understandable. But when random yeah. people be doing that shit, it's like, dude, what the yeah. fuck you Instagram video <laughs> calling me? <laughs> Bro, Ew. I've deadass had people call me at like 5.30 in the morning on a fucking Saturday or some shit. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, God, Who's even on Instagram at 5.30 in the morning to be call, calling somebody? Yeah, like, you bored, bro. Like, dude. come on, bro. It's time. You should be asleep already. It's time to start. You got to be ready for the next day. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to get prepared. Motherfuckers be wild. Got to be productive. Shh. Do you have any, um, I love asking these questions. Hopefully you do because some people don't have any. Any on-set horror stories? Music videos either gone terribly wrong, some crazy shit happening at a video. If you got multiple, share multiple. <laughs> uh, ain't none. We shake it off, but I got shot at. Feel me? At a video? Yeah, my first video in Boston. That shit was like, feel me? <laughs> ain't gonna get into too much. That's, that's federal, but um, 
Another one would be like, you know, it's a hard, real one, and I know everybody can relate, bro. When somebody homie, I seen this on Isaac's interview too. Stop trying to give us advice on how to shoot, bro. Because if that's the case, just ask me for the camera. If you want to shoot the video, all right. Like, if you want to be on, feel me. If you want to join, if you want to join us. Bro. That's a that's a big horror story. That just that it gives me a migraine automatically. Like, all right, if if we're if we're if we're a team, right? If we're working together, if we're paid to like work together. If I got a team with me, yeah, but they hired me as a solo like director, so you know what I mean. Obviously, I want the artist. It's just between me and the artist. Like, I want their input. Feel me? If if I want input, I would ask for it. I feel like, but for the most part, it's like, yeah, that's like the horror shit. It always be the. Fucking background characters. Because then they don't. You want to know it's a horror story? Because they don't stop, bro. They'll just still be here, like, yo, you should put the light like this. You should have it flicker like that. Or, like, yo, put the camera over here, bro. Bro, the camera's about to be in my car in a second. I'm about to drive home if you don't leave me alone. (laughs) (laughs) Bro, have you ever walked off set? I don't know if you saw when Isaac said that shit, but I find that as the funniest Um, shit. Have I walked off? Shout out to Isaac. Isaac was like, I was out there for five minutes and that shit was at. He literally just walked off the set. I think I have no bullshit. Really? No bullshit. Yeah, I think I have. Bro. I can't recall, but like, I definitely sometimes I just don't be feeling shit. Like I be I be honest with people. Like, I won't even shoot with you if I don't really like like the song. Like I'll just tell you like, yo, you got anything else? Like, you feel me? I'll try to work with you. I'm not a dickhead, but you know what I mean. Like, I just want to keep it real, bro. Like, bro. and if and if I don't like it, maybe my boy, maybe I know another cameraman that like it, and I'll I'll make that play work or something like that. You know what I mean? Damn, bro. Fucking seems like you be in trenches a lot <laughs> for music yeah. videos. Now nah, you got to be as a cameraman, like even even Ryan, bro. He be in the trenches too. Like you, know what I mean? you got we're, we're very like um we got a dangerous job, especially when you're just coming up like out of like feel me anywhere, bro. Cause this is where the real famous artists, the rappers are coming from. Feel me? So that's just what it's about, and shit. It's crazy. A lot of people don't realize being a videographer in those it's situations dangerous. is so dangerous, bro. Dangerous. I remember, I'm not going to say the artist, but I was at a video shoot one time. And um, basically the way that it was set up, it was like a long ass hallway. We were standing at the end and there's like 20 dudes, like 14 of them got blicks out. And then I'm sitting hey. there, I'm like filming fucking behind the scenes for a couple of seconds. And then I'm like. Wait a second. I didn't yeah, see so any you know of them what I'm talking about. Shit, Don't act brand new. You know what I, I'm talking about. I go, I go duck around the corner, bro. I'm hiding the whole time. Fucking Ken's with me. And then Ken afterwards, I'm like, bro, I'm like, why did you just say that? And said, he's like, bro, the shots look dope. I'm like, you fucking <laughs> like, bro. The yeah. shots look dope, bro. Yep. Dude. Yeah, but nah, that, it's underrated how fucking dangerous that shit can be. Especially like fucking the worst part about it. Like I'm sure the situation that you're talking about, it's just fucking... You going to do a job, and then someone else's problems completely, and then you just get wrapped in the middle. Like, I've heard stories of videographers getting booked for fucking being with an artist just for random ass shit, bro. It's oh, yes. Yeah, I've I seen this. I've seen something like that happen, too. In yeah. The bush. yeah, you got to. But our end goal, it's all worth it. When you hit the industry, it's less, like, it's less ratchet. You know what uh, I mean? It's work with some, like, more. It's more professional, I feel like. In a, in a sense. You feel me? Sometimes it won't be in other aspects, but you know what I'm trying to say, like. How you? What do you advise for people? I, I like that we're talking about this because normally I don't talk to videographers about this. How do you advise for people to move properly in those circumstances? Because you got some people that will be just straight up dumbasses. They pull up to places like that. They got flashy ass outfits on. They're fucking lugging all their camera shit out in the open. Or what? What do you recommend for people to move properly? Um, I would say don't don't shoot with everybody. Like, um. Like obviously at first you wanna you wanna do your thing, but like once you get like established like with some clients, just like if it ain't by like yo, this if they don't like introduce you to another person, then I wouldn't even like feel me. Cause it's a risk meeting new people, and feel me. If you're fucking with the people that you've been fucking with, like obviously you wanna expand, but still like you know what I'm trying to say like you'll you'll be good because they that person moves with that person because they move the same if that makes sense. And like feel me, just b- bring someone with you and um yeah, keep keep it going with you or some shit. You feel me. I feel like everybody should have one nowadays. The world, the world is crazy. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, no. You never know what the fuck could happen. Like, you be at a grocery store shopping and shit. Like, shit could pop off. So like, yeah, you always just want to be, you always want to be good. And you want to protect the people around you. Like, that's that's what the most. Everybody gets home safe type shit. Yeah, it's crazy, like, bro. All the fucking you talking about the grocery store shit. Obviously, yeah. there's just random ass incidents where it's like people have beef or whatever. But all the mass shooting shit, I 100% agree that everybody should be carrying fucking guns because that shit. You look yeah. at Texas. 
in Florida and shit. They don't be having mad shootings because fucking everyone there is strapped the fuck up. If some shit pops off, that whoever has the gun initially, they're gonna clap within a good thirty seconds. I almost guarantee it. Yup, yup. They 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 know. Literally, they know. So yeah, Massachusetts gun laws are ass though, bro. Ass. Massachusetts and New York got the worst gun laws in the whole fucking country, bro. I swear to God. I know New York, right? Let's send you right to Rikers. New York, yeah, <laughs> New York, bro. You can't in New York. You can't fucking have shit without fucking getting fucked with, bro. It's fucking crazy. Um. I'm going to ask you this, though, because I've ran, I've ran into this pu- fucking problem just being a platform owner a couple times. Ugh. But I'm curious because I've heard stories of videographers doing this. You ever have dudes that get mad? I feel like you probably haven't because of your answer to the last question. But you ever have dudes that get mad? They're like, oh, you shot a video with so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. And they're all heated at you. And you're like, bro, I'm just doing my job. It's business at the end of the day. All right. You're not running um, into any of those yet. Uh. Yeah, you're, you're gonna run into it. I ran into it a couple times, but right now you got you gotta look at yourself as a business. Like me, I'm trying to work with everybody. I don't I don't give a fuck. Like if you're straight up with them, then they gotta respect it. But if you if you say like, oh, I'm not gonna work with that person, and then you do it behind their back, then then they're gonna crucify you, probably. I don't know. It depends who it is, but for the most part, like just keep it business. Just be like, yo, it ain't it ain't nothing. Feel me? It's nothing personal. I'm just trying to get my bag and go home safe. I ain't trying to like. That's where you just gotta draw the line between business and like friendship. Yeah, yeah, well, we're, we're friends and shit. We're locked in, but like, I mean, it's, it's just business. I gotta work with homies. I gotta get this back. I gotta pay my bills and shit. Literally, bro. I hate when people be on that shit. Like, cause all right, so right, say if I don't shoot with that person, can can you pay my bills for me? All right, then so, then no, I can't do that, bro. That's how I would answer it. As a matter of fact, you know me. what I've heard of videographers doing? They when they run into those circumstances, they're like, "All right, if you really want me to not shoot it that bad, pay me however much the video was gonna pay me." I've yeah, literally heard hey, of people doing that. If they can reimburse you, whatever you missing out on, then yeah, hell yeah, yeah, do that shit. It's just crazy. I don't understand in certain positions. Like, I if well, you're fucking, you know, you know, you know what's you know what's crazy? If that person's telling you not to work with somebody, like that's that's not your real that's not a real friend. Because a real friend, even if this person. Had to be for the person that you don't want, you they don't want you to work with. They would just, they care about you so much, they'll just tell you to go work with them. You feel me? Go get that bag, bro. Go ahead. Yep. But come buy me lunch later. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Tells you, right? literally, like some shit like that. And also, too, what I was going to say is fucking always there's these entitled artist conversations that are coming up. But artists, I feel like sometimes have an entitled sense with that. It's like, okay, if I did a podcast with you, if, or if I shot one or two music videos with you, you should not have a personal vendetta against me because I shoot something or do whatever with your ops without even knowing you guys are ops because I'm not fucking involved in any of that yeah. shit type shit. Like, I don't know. It'd be ridiculous. Hearing the the stories that people be going through is fucking ridiculous. I've even had people, I've done interviews, and then I've been pressed, and they're like, oh, you interviewed so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, dude, I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Like, I'm like, I didn't know no. you didn't get Why are you mad at me? You should be glad for I'm me. I'm like, dude, I saw you a year and a half ago. You, however yeah, long they're not, ago. they're not your real friends. They should be yeah, like, bro, you did that shit. Fuck them, but good shit, bro. bro. You're killing it. You're That's killing it. I don't, I don't know how people don't understand, though, that, uh, aside from the friendship aspect of it, just a business level. Like, so many people, bro, that is so many people. It's because, uh, you want to know why? Because I feel like they're not in the game. And whatever they're doing, like, they don't, they're not going to see you eye to eye because... They're not on your level. Your level, you feel me? Like they're, they're being simple minded about it. You, you're trying to be everywhere. You're trying to be this. You're trying to make it big. You feel me? Not just Massachusetts. Yeah. You want it to be everywhere. So like they're they're still stuck in their hometown um, mindset type shit. If that makes sense. Yeah. No, yeah. I hundred. What I was gonna say originally, bro. Like the worst part about a lot or the a lot of artists' biggest downfalls. You even see it with fucking the famous ass people like Young Thug right now. Is just yeah. not letting that street shit grow, go. Like, I always say this to people. If you're going to do street shit and you're going to do music, do street shit to fucking get a bag, put it into the fucking music, and get as far away from that shit as possible. Because yeah. then you see people like Young Thug, bro, got how many millions of fucking dollars, and the dude's fucking probably about to be in jail for the rest of his life because he just didn't give up on it type shit. Like, I'm not saying, and everyone watching this, I'm not saying... Oh, you don't got to carry a gun. You don't got to move correct. You don't got to be worried about shit. Stay worried about shit. Stay on your fucking P's and Q's. But if you got fucking a million streams and you, all of your music is going up, you don't got to be doing all this crazy ass shit that you gotta, you're going to get so fucked over. Basically, you just, you got to stay focused. Like, 
gonna give you an example like young boy yeah. like i'm pretty sure he squashed that shit with fredo bang like that that was his yeah. like that they had problems and shit and he squashed it now look at him he's he beat his case on some other on on the fed on the fed charge and like now he's chilling like he's, uh, feel me it's just sad seeing fucking when it is people it's hard though i understand though. like everyone's yeah. situation is different but nah, no you gotta stay focused like can't can't let shit drag you. It's like an anchor. You, you gotta cut the literally. anchor. You gotta cut it, bro. You gotta be free. You feel me? You gotta literally. Bro. Can't because when you when you stuck with the other fishes, it's stuck the sharks the gonna get you. Yeah. Whether it's bro. feel me, and and in that aspect, it fucked up his business. Feel me? So yeah. That's the best way to describe it. Is that it's just an anchor. Yo, I gotta say it again. I appreciate you having me. Yo, this bro. <laughs> thank. You. This is so nice in person. Like what the fuck? Thank you, bro. I appreciate like, it, dog. I, I see why it's called Purple World now. Feel me? I feel like I'm in a whole nother, you feel me? You got to see the studios, too. Every, literally everything in here is purple. Like, everything. Nah, the whole building it. is purple, man. Fuck with you. guys got your own mark, you feel me? Like, I, I appreciate I like it, this shit, bro. I appreciate you guys it. Are, you guys are pioneers. Thank you, bro. You feel me? Matt, you. Mass, it don't really got a... It got a music scene, but it's not heard of yet. Yeah. You feel me? But you guys are about to be a big like part of it, if that makes sense. Like, I appreciate just it. Just as big right now. No, Who else? You feel me? Nah, we, we got other people out there I, I probably don't know about, but like you, got, you guys are doing big. That's that's all I'm gonna say. You feel me? I appreciate it, bro. I gotta put you on if you if you're not aware of other podcasts and stuff. There's like good amount. Nah, I I seen a couple. That's yeah. why I like I switched my feel yeah, me. Yeah, nah, there's, there's a, a good bro. amount. There's a good amount. Of surprise. Like that, it's so beautiful. How long have you been in the scene? Would you say uh, like a year and a half? Year and a half. Yeah. Damn, I feel like I saw your videos longer ago. Um, but it's so beautiful. Like how the fucking growth in the scene. Like you've probably seen it just in the year and a half you've been in it. But in a three-year span, like, when I started this shit, there was, like, one or two platforms I was aware of. Now you got yeah. fucking, like, f- probably 30 to 50 easily, like, which but, is fucking yeah. crazy. Even studios, but I feel like I haven't done a count, but I deadass feel like there's anywhere from 50 to 100 studios just in Massachusetts. I would not be surprised if there's that many. And Honestly, even videographers, yeah. too. Like, think about fucking that group chat you guys just were in. How many of those motherfuckers uh, were from Massachusetts? That's uh, yeah. that shit is Yo, crazy, bro. No, nah, I mean some crazy people in that in that um in that group chat. And they actually humble like they feel me. Um filmers with like hundred K, fifty K followers uh, following me and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Like bro. they're really trying to network too and shit, don't matter how small or big you are. Like, I'm like, okay, I fuck with this. Like you know I mean that's that's a it's a good tool. Who made that? Isaac? Yeah, me and Isaac was speaking on it. With you guys, feel me? We was just thinking of a name and shit. We just took forever and shit, but yeah, that's dope. You guys, so you guys both made that shit together? Yeah, yeah. He he made it. Feel me? I'm, I'm an admin. Uh, I'm like we, feel me? I, I was bothering. Him. I'm like, yo, let's make this shit, bro. Like, let's make a group chat. Bro, not everybody in it. You know what's fire? Edit and chill shit. <laughs> you know what's fire as fuck? That got me hyped when I saw that shit yesterday. That's how all of this shit started. Was a group chat. <laughs> oh, for real, uh, bro? I just made a fucking music engagement group chat. Yep. On Instagram. Or no, it was either on Snapchat, and then it filled up, like, instantly. We went to Instagram, maxed out a fucking Instagram group chat, and then we had to go to WhatsApp. This is all within the first week. This is, like, the third day. We had to go to WhatsApp. Bro, there was, like, by the first week of me starting this shit, there was, like, 79 people in a group chat. Videographers, producers, fucking fashion designers, artists. This is what we need, bro. This is what mass needs. Mass needs, bro. We need people, like, ready to start shit. Bro. Go make that fucking group chat, bro. You never know what the fuck. Literally, Literally. Like, bro. That videographer group chat, I'm Stop talking you. about it. Go do that shit. <laughs> Dude, I don't think you guys realize that shit is probably going to spark some crazy shit. Just being able to bounce ideas off each other. Fucking next thing you know, you guys are putting together whole production teams for shit. Like, uh, Hey, we, we was just talking about that. We were about, like, for me, we were just saying that shit. Bro, that shit. Shh, that's fire. Salute to you guys for doing that shit. Salute to y'all for doing that. But I got to ask you now, though, that I fucking don't know how I didn't ask you this yet. How the fuck you getting the videos in the first place? You said you were a skater uh, dude. You were a football uh, yeah, player. Yeah, yeah, And then, um, um, fuck, my fault. I got into videos. My camera was just sitting. So I got my camera with the stimulus check. I was like, damn, do I want to buy a drip? Nah, fuck that. Let me buy a camera. <laughs> <laughs> but... I wanted a camera because I wanted to stream. Like, I want, feel me? I was playing, like, Apex, Battle yeah. Royales and shit. All that shit. I wanted to stream and shit. I tried it. I'm like, nah, this ain't my thing. Then it's just sitting there collecting dust. I'm like, I got to fucking do something, bro. Like, 
I know I didn't just buy this shit for nothing. Like, I could probably, like, make a little business with this shit. Like, what the fuck? And then, um, one day, like, I hit up my boy, Lang Gang Zay. He makes music in, um, New Bedford. I was like, yo, let's fucking shoot, bro. He's like, bet. Feel me? That's when I started my first video and shit. Damn. Was it ass compared to what's out That shit is dookie. <laughs> my boy uploaded that shit on his phone. I'm like, bro, what you doing, bro? We uploading your fucking video. Everybody, don't be uploading your videos on your phone. But yeah. But you learn from me. You feel me? We learn. Do people still do that? I could tell. I could tell if you do. It looks a little choppy, but uh, you could probably get away with it, depending on who shot it and shit. But me, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I did not know about my settings and shit, but yeah, that shit was ass. It's at like 320p. <laughs> What'd you edit on the first time? Um, Premiere. Premiere? Yeah. You still use Premiere now? Yeah. Premiere is better than After Effects. Anybody that has that debate. <laughs> or nah, not not yeah. After Effects. Is it, what's the, <laughs> the Mac one? Oh, Final Cut. Final Cut. Final Cut. My bad. I fucked up. It's it is why you, you, you fucked up both of them? Huh? You fucked up both of them? No, I just have seen people use Final Cut and everybody tries to preach that it's better, but Premiere, like, all I hear is about the capabilities of Premiere. And I don't know. I've been using Premiere for three years now, so I just find it. Honestly, crazy. I like Premiere on fucking on the Mac. I yeah. use a Windows. Oh, really? It's all right, but I, yeah. I got the gist of a Mac. That shit runs way smooth. It's made for the Mac. Bro, Bullshit. He's a Windows dude. He's a Windows dude. He's like anti-Mac. <laughs> Bro. Um, how'd you get good with everything though? Like how many videos would you say you had to shoot until you were like, all right, I got a solid product? Yo, I ain't gonna lie. So, I realized I was starting to get good when I was working with Young Dapper. He's from Brockton and Nick Dolo. Um, shout out them. Shout out Boom GDP. I appreciate the fuck out of y'all, bro. You opened up so many doors for me. Forever grateful. But they bought like ten videos off of me, bro. God damn. God. Every day, every day, we feel me. We was just shooting and shit. They showed me mad love. Like, you wanna, you wanna get, some, you wanna really work out here as a cameraman. You gotta get the fuck out of your city. You gotta get out of your city. Like, you gotta reach out. Like I said, you don't be afraid to reach out. Don't be afraid to post your work, no matter how like bad you think it might look. You never know who's feel me, cause my boy um GDP he stepped in with Dappa. He saw my work. He was like, "Yo, let's shoot. Come out to Brockton, we'll do." And that's how I got tapped in and shit. And that that's what really helped my videos, like me learning and them um, feel me being patient with me. And they could have just been like, feel me, my portfolio wasn't really shit at the time, so they could have been like, "Nah, I'm gonna have somebody else shoot it." Feel me? But they took that shot at me, so feel me. That's why I'm grateful. So that shit, that shit really helped me. That's fire. That's fire. What about the effects and stuff? You. YouTube tutorial, dude, or were you asking people questions? Yo, no bullshit. You just got to learn yourself, bro. Like, now nah, you can learn on YouTube, but that shit's boring. And, like, they don't give all the sauce because it's, it's, and I get it. Like, it's business, bro. Like, they don't want to give out because they don't want everybody learning all this shit, all the effects and shit. So, they get, basically, the game is sold, not told. You know what I mean, so if you ain't coming with a bag, no one's going to really teach you, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Did you just do a lot of trial and error shit? Hell yeah! Like, if it looks cheesy, take that shit out. That's that's what my mindset is like. Go for it with that shit, bro. I wish I had Ryan on this podcast, bro. Because normally the videographer ones, I've had someone else film, and Ryan's been on it in the past. <laughs> I feel bad, bro. <laughs> Double trouble, right? I feel bad. <laughs> if you got any videographer questions that I'm not asking him, you could text them to me if you want me to throw them in. But, well, um, your A7 III was the first camera though. The one that you're using now? Yeah, Damn. I still got that. I'm about to upgrade soon, though. It's time to, like, it's time to step up. What you think you're going to upgrade to? Honestly, I've been looking at the FX3. What's that? Um, you got to look it up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no bullshit. I feel like it's, like, it's like a red camera to me. Damn. It's like a cinema camera type shit? Yeah, I feel Damn. like that's, like... Yeah, it's Netflix, Netflix approved. What feel me? Fuck? I need that shit. Bro, what the fuck? How much does that shit run? You already know. Like 10 fucking... Uh, arm. Jesus. <laughs> Everything's an arm. Jesus, bro. Equipment is so much money. Equipment it's fucking so stupid. And the plugins, everything, bro. It just all adds up. You crack plugins? Or did you buy Yeah, them? I crack plugins. Yeah, them, them Romanian people, they got me, bro. They got <laughs> fucked on my computer, bro. That, I was going to ask that it fucking Try to get up. a fucking plugin, bro. They took all my emails. I'm like, damn, bro. I it happened see. to you, too. It happened yeah, to Virtue, I see, bro. I'm like, I, I see how y'all playing, bro. Say no more. Bro, what? Now nah, I'm just feel me. Learn my lesson. Just buy it. Just buy it. Don't God be cheap. Damn, buy your plugins. Bro. Be cheap with the camera, right? Like I said, you use your iPhone. Be cheap with that shit, but don't be cheap with the plugins, the software, because that shit just gonna fuck you in the end. 
My fault. Can I curse on him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nah, you're good. You're good. It's supposed to be the first 10 minutes, no cursing, but I literally fuck that up every time, like, <laughs> in the first 10 seconds, bro. Fuck it. Organic. Right? Literally, bro, that's why I, I tried to do it, and I'm like, bro, I'm just not gonna, whatever. If it fucking gets whatever, not showing that as many people, it is what it is. I can't not swear. I can't not swear. I feel that. Um, what do you like more, though? Because like, I know you said you're trying to get better at the actual filming part right now, but... Do you like the filming side or do you like being at the laptop doing all the edits and shit? I like both because, like, my back been killing me nowadays. Because if I sat at the computer desk for too long, that shit going to fuck up my back. But then again, when you're holding the gimbal, that shit hurts me too. But yeah. altogether, besides all that shit, I'm going to get it figured out. But I, li- I like both. I, w- I want to be, like I said, I want to be the jack of all trades. Like, I want to learn everything. So, like, when it's time to play a part, I can't be like, oh, I can't do that. Feel me? I want to be, like, a, I want to be a strong arm and... And whatever group type shit. Uh, how important do you think it is just being able to adapt to different situations? Because earlier, how we were talking about fucking you just getting on fights, just running with it. Just, oh, a day's notice. I got to go here. All right, fine, bet. How important do you think it is just being able to adapt to those situations, especially as a videographer? It's super important. You got to know. But that that's kind of like my style. Like, I like freestyling. Um, like, my videos, like, they're not really. Obviously, you want to you wanna get good at playing videos, but. It's, it's it's all about problem solving. That's what I like about it. Like, feel me? What do you do if you hit like a crazy stump on a video? If you're on a set and you're like, "Fuck, I don't know what the fuck to do from here." You ever having moments like that? Yeah, well, like, say if my light dies, I'll just be like, "Fuck, all right, we gotta go stand under a street light, or we gotta go to a store or some shit." That's probably like, feel me? That's probably the only sure. issue I really got. You'd be quick on your feet though. What do you mean? Like just figuring it out right away. Yeah, yeah, for the most part, no bullshit. Okay. Fire, fire. What about your bigger, your bigger videos? Because we were just talking about the quantity video. I know you got a couple other videos. I saw you posting the other day. You were like, "Y and J, you got my number, bro." <laughs> oh yeah, I got to work with Y and J. But all your, all your bigger videos. If there's any stories you want to share about just how they came about, type shit. And uh-huh. what's your favorite video? Two questions in one. Damn. I don't know. I, th- I would have to say right now the one I got with. With Bando, when I went to um, Philly and we shot with Kwani, that one, the recent one. I, I mean, not not the last one, but the one before. That was your favorite. Yeah, that's got to be my favorite. I just feel like all my, fa- I really just like people have been coming up to me too and telling me like, "Yo, you killed that shit!" Like, and the numbers, the numbers are going up. It's almost at like a hundred k and shit. Goddamn. I think it's. I think it was like seventy or sixty k last time I checked. Damn. Yeah, that shit. That shit's about to go up. I feel like. That's a start to put in um, like mass, on. You feel me? Like that shit's about to go crazy. Uh, That's those pretty impressive numbers because I'm I'm starting to understand how the numbers work and shit. So, feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, That's about to be your first hundred K video. Oh yeah, for sure. I I, I actually think it's gonna hit a million. Got and in like a couple, maybe a year or two. But like, damn, it's it's gonna it's gonna be a, a classic. That shit's fire. That we got shit. we got like one with AMG Vic and Cal. That shit hit a million. Oh, you shot that? Nah, I didn't shoot that. Uh, um, but for me, that that's from New Bedford. That's the only uh, million I think that's from New Bedford. Damn. Surprise. I could be wrong though. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't really. So like, this is about to be the second one. I could tell by the numbers. I can read damn. it. Uh, damn, bro. It's crazy that fucking people are sitting here bitching and complaining like, oh, it's so hard to make it in Boston. And then you got people just casually throwing up fucking millions of streams. <laughs> And yeah, a couple yeah. hundred thousand, like some It's not honestly. It's not hard. You just need you just need um money. You got to be ready to invest. Yeah. You got to be ready to invest in a feature or like invest in your quality sound. You feel me? It's not hard. You just you just need a tool, which is money. Money's just a tool. Once you learn that, then you feel me. That should open some doors for you and shit. A lot of people don't understand that. All you artists watching this, that you don't want to invest in yourself, you might as well fucking hang up the cape right now and <laughs> not get in this industry if you're not willing to fucking spend money, bro. Like, and People try to cut corners all the time. You see it, they're like, oh, instead of fucking getting a video with Hollow, I'm going to go fucking have my friend film a video and we're just going to edit it real quick. And then you see the shit that comes out and you're like, ugh. They're like, oh, I'm not going to go to his studio. I'm just going to record with absolutely no plugins, no mix. Just drop it raw, and then you're like, huh? <laughs> um, another one, I went with, when I took the flight to Houston, when I, ju- I just got back, but I took a flight to Houston with Splurge, 
um, Bozo and Rico, you feel me, was out there working and shit. Like, that shit opened my eyes, and I appreciate the fuck out of them. Like, I came back home on some whole, cri- on some whole other shit. Like, I don't know, I'm just, I'm ready to go crazy. And I was, like, sleeping on myself and being lazy and shit, but now I'm ready to, like, I'm ready to fuck shit up now. Like, I needed that reset. I never left New Bedford in my life, so, like, that shit means a lot to me. Damn. And I got to, like, build a bond with the twins and shit, you feel me? And, like, work with uh, Jay from Bozo, Rico. Learned a lot from Rico, too. I'm on my photography shit. Help me with that. You're trying to get on the photography shit now, too? Yeah, it took, took some some photos of D-Baby and shit. Damn. And just in general, just, like, feel me? Like I said, I won't be a jack of all trades with, so like, the photos yeah. and shit. But, yeah, I, le- I learned a lot from them. Like, so I'm just so thankful for, like, everybody that I'm meeting and shit. You know what I mean? Especially you. You know what I mean? Bro. Purple World. All this shit. Appreciate you coming on. So, yeah. yeah. Working with other people, though, because I feel, can imagine, was that your first time working with other people? Yeah, no bullshit. Yeah. What what was that experience like going from fucking you shot however many videos you did completely by yourself and then now you got a, a whole team basically that Honestly, I love it cuz like now the return time can be quicker. All right. Rico ed, um putting together the video, send it to me, boop. I just add effects, boop. Someone else color it, boop. Send it right back to the artist quick as fuck. It's, I I like that shit. Feel me? Uh, it ma- it makes it, it makes everybody happy. Like when you're working as a team cuz and the artist is happy. They get it back quick as fuck. Like, dumb quick, because all I got to do is add effects. Say no more. I mean. What's your workflow like normally? My workflow, I like to work at night. Like, I could do some shit in the morning if I really need to finish some shit. But, like, at night, that's when, like, shit calms down. I don't hear fucking ambulance, fire truck, all that. Feel me? Live in the city, so, like, like in the middle of the city. So, uh, hear too much shit going on. That, that shit will distract you. You got to really, like... You gotta really like put the headset on, tune in, and like enter a whole whole world, purple world. <laughs> purple world. Yeah, yeah. Fuck gotta you. enter. You gotta enter another world to make a movie. Uh, oh, yeah. what did you say before the cameras were on? You said some whole entire shit about that. We were what? talking about just making videos. You were talking about entering your own world. That's when I was like, we need to start recording now because you said some shit that was a perfect quote about that. You summarized how a director's attitude should be going into a video like perfectly. Oh, like. I think I said you gotta let yourself be like vulnerable. Like you gotta be like that. That as a job, we need to do that because we need to enter a new world. Like we gotta really enter our, our vision in space. We gotta really be tapped in to really like make a fucking movie. Like I was um I was shooting Brockton uh, yesterday or two days ago with my boy Tega. We got a feature with Kwani. She's he's next up. Feel me? Like Damn. you you could just tell, bro. Like he he the real deal type shit. But anyways. I was shooting him and this on um, my boy Kelly, and we was doing a skit. And they like my boy Kelly, he can't act for shit. I ain't gonna lie, like I was laughing all the time. But fucking um, what was I gonna say? I was like, yo, I want you guys to really think of a time like you took a L, like really think about that shit, bro. Like I was like, look at look at me, bro. I'm being serious, bro. Think about that shit. He was like, all right, bet. They just start thinking like, he's like, yo, remember that shit? We do feel me? We knocked out that skit easy, done. I mean, you really gotta tap in Like even if you're an artist Like if you're making music Think about a time You was like really hurt and shit Don't just do it Just cause you're doing it Like really you Gotta really put some Put some pride in that In that shit You know what I mean And people People will fuck with it And it's gonna look way better It's gonna f- feel me All that shit You know what I'm trying to say Yeah uh. Bro people Be having such a lack of emotion And shit sometimes As a, as a director What do you feel is the most impactful and just controlling people's energy. Like when you have an artist fucking, or let me rephrase that. How do you go about getting artists energy up if you get in those situations or just overall trying to control their behavior for whatever oh. works out best for the video? Oh yeah, it's easy. Um, so sometimes I'll be showing people and they'll just be like, the energy don't be there. I get it, you gotta warm up and shit, but sometimes I'll just be like, yo, like, I'll be like, yo, what you doing, bro? Like have more energy, bro. Even, even people I just met, I'll be like, yo, you gotta like jump around or some shit, bro. This is a hype song, you know what I mean? Uh, like, you gotta. I'll be like, yo, like rap your shit, like really rap that shit, bro. Don't just like lip sync, rap it, bro. Like it's time to get in that zone, bro. It's time to work. Yeah, people, bro. They be coming in the videos. They're just like, <laughs> yo, <Bozo. laughs> I've seen it so many times, bro. I've seen it so many times. Artists don't import. Not even artists, just people in general don't realize how important it is just to have the energy to you. 
Like yeah. if you're if you're a lifeless fucking zombie all the time everywhere you're walking around, people just aren't gonna fuck with you. Yeah, even people be telling me like, I catch myself though. I always feel me. So, I, matter of fact, I don't even try to be going to shoots or I'll try to reschedule if my energy is just energy not there. Is if I'm burnt out, like I had a shoot right when I got back to Houston and I was like, I told my boy, I'm like, yo, no bullshit, bro. Like, I can't even shoot this right now because I'm just I'm burnt out from my trip. Like I had a good time. I reset it over there, but. I just got off the flight. I'm trying to like, I don't know, I'm trying to go do my laundry or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I need I need a real home cooked meal. I was just in I was just in Texas eating fucking. Feel me? Takeout food all day. Feel yeah. me? I need to get right. I need to get back on your shit. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So yeah, just some shit like that. Do you feel like when you be traveling a lot, it throws you out your groove? Cause I used to be good with traveling all the time when I was younger, Definitely. and now it, it does with you too. It throws off my diet. Everything. Wow. My fitness life, feel me? I be trying to go to the gym. I'm trying to get swole. <laughs> You've been consistent with it? Mm. <laughs> Camera shit. <laughs> it don't help, but I'll get it eventually. I'm learning. Getting consistent in the gym. Now, nah, I'm just making nice. excuses. I could have I could have went to, like, a local one. Got a guest on that in Texas, but uh, I was there to work. Do your push-ups. Uh, <laughs> is, your, is your sleep schedule fucked up? I know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pathetic. I'll be oversleeping. It's <laughs> fucked up. I'll but admit it, bro. You be on your laptop till like five in the fucking morning type shit? Yeah. Uh, bro. You know how it be. The life of a director. Every single person that I hear it from, bro. My yeah. sleeping schedule's fucked up. Like, I like to work at night, but then, like, I don't know. What if I can't? I, I also got to wake up. I don't want to wake up at 2 a.m., so I got to go to sleep. I mean, two two p.m. So I gotta go to sleep a little bit early. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's tricky. It's really tricky. And then you get fucking down the rabbit hole. You get locked in on a video, and you don't realize what time it is until you see the fucking or hear the birds yeah. chirp. So you see the sun. That's <laughs> like yeah. But so, sometimes you need to do sessions like those. Like yeah. it just happens. But yeah, the sleeping schedule. Yeah. It's, it's it's better though. It's getting better. Yeah. Bullshit. Ryan, you gotta take that advice. <laughs> <laughs> this dude be like fucking five in the morning going to sleep and then wake it up at like two. Yo, Ryan's killing it, bro. Uh, freak of nature ass. It's hard where we <laughs> from, so I know I'm I'm definitely proud of Ryan, bro. Like bro. Salute to Ryan. A lot of shout out to Ryan throughout this. Fucking earlier you talked about Cresto. I meant I meant to ask you about that. The whole um just fucking him managing you. Yep. What's that been like? That's just fire. Like he's opening a lot of doors for me, like Matter of fact, he opened the elevator for me. Feel me? Damn. Appreciate the fuck out of him. Talk to him every day. Uh, we locked in. That's fire. That's fire. What are some artists around here that you want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Some artists that I haven't worked with. Um, I want to work with G Nip. G Nip, um, Millie's. Bia. Bia, what's up? <laughs> Bia. Come back. <laughs> oh. Um, I want to work with D the Flyest, EK. Trying to think. I know there's I a lot of names. Flies to get on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it'll come, bro. It'll come. I've been hounding him for two years. You're gonna answer. Keep bothering him. Eventually. him. Keep bothering yeah. him. I'm gonna keep bothering him. I be bothering all my friends. I be calling. Feel me? Bro. Calling all my friends. I be bothering them. Like, feel me? Yo, Isaac. Bother him. Like, yo, we gotta make this group chat already, bro. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Next morning, he invited me. I'm like, all right, yeah. Eventually, it will. I work. told him straight. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna bother you. I don't care. Like, we gotta get shit done. Bro. How how dope do you think that is? I know we talked about it a little bit with the group chat, but just having other creative friends, a lot of people sleep on that, the importance of everything. I mean, your boy right here owns a brand. You've got Isaac, Ryan, you got a whole bunch of fucking creative people around you. Um, Like, what, what was the question? My just, like, how how good is it to just have it to feed in the shit? Because a lot of people be sleeping on fucking how good it is to have it's that. It's so good. Don't, don't. You could do it by yourself, but you could do even better when you're working with other people, believe it or not. Like, I get it. You might not want to fuck with people, but, because, like, it's it's scary meeting new people and shit. You never know. You feel me? There's a lot of scary. You feel me? I'm scared to meet new people, too, but at the same time, you just got to you just gotta get your feet wet. You just got to go in the water, bro. You just, you feel me? You just got to do it, especially as a creative and shit. But, yeah. Uh, I got to ask you, random, random as fuck. But I think you got the most tattoos out of anyone that's been on here. Before. For real? I think I think you got the most. Would you say so? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I think you got the most tattoos out of anyone that's been on here before. Yeah, I'm all um, set. No, no more tattoos. Shout out my tattoo artists though. Trilling tattoos, no tattoos. Two on Instagram. <laughs> he the best in Rhode Island, bro. I ain't even gonna cap. Like, I've what, been locked in. When did you start getting them? Um, since I was young, no bullshit. Since you were young, yeah, I was young. Well, <laughs> when did you stop? When's the, what's the most recent one? Like a month. Uh, my face tat, no bullshit. Both of my face tats. Those ones were the most recent ones. Yeah, I was just. I always said I was never gonna tap my face and shit, but um, I was going through some real life shit. Like, yep. I was just fucked up. I was stressing, and like, feel me, happen. But pe- people, I get like mixed. A lot of people they like it. A lot of people like, damn, like, feel me. That I, like, I like it. I appreciate you, no bullshit. Wait, it's new. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's new, it's new. It, well, I thought that you just always had that. Oh no, nah, no, nah, I new. thought you. Had I that always had like my neck tats, but like in my hands, but my face is pretty new. No Damn, shit. I thought you had that for a minute. Yeah. Leap of faith, right there. I feel like whenever yeah. if you're in this industry and you get a face tat, that's you just like stealing the stamp. You're like, I'm doing this shit. Oh yeah, that too. I quit my job like six months ago. I'm like, fuck that. That was one leap. I took another leap. Tap my face. Fuck it. What I'm was the point crazy. you quit your job? Was it just because shoots were ramping up? Yeah, I was shooting with, I was shooting with um, my boy Boom. He, like, manages Dapper and shit. He was like, yo, we don't got time. I told him, I'm like, bro, I'm working right now. Feel me? Call me, want to shoot and shit. I was like, bro, I'm working. He goes, bro, go quit your fucking job, bro. Come on, I got, feel me? We're about to work right now. I'm like, Tss. I was I was talking to some people at my job and shit. I'm like, yo, you think I should do this? And I don't know why, bro. My gut was just telling me, like, yeah, go, go do that shit. Because, like, obviously I need money, but. What if what if I quit my job right now and like feel me, get right? So yeah, I just I quit and shit. It was hard, but got that shit done. Feel me out of there. Now look, if I would have never quit my job, fucking um, I would have never took that flight. Feel me, all this would have never fell into place and shit. So my gut was right. Uh, you know what I mean, gut feelings, bro, is something fucking we underestimate over and over again. Try to talk yourself out something, but your gut will never lie to you. <laughs> You got that ass will never lie to you. How scary is that though? I always I love asking videographers that. Just fucking anybody. It's, yo, I'm gonna be real. It's scary, bro. Like yeah. taking that leap, but it's scary. Like yeah. it's scary as fuck. But you just gotta do it, bro. Follow your gut. Yeah. What's your favorite tat out of all the tats? Oh. I feel like this is the chicks podcast right now because they ask like every single person that has tattoos they ask them about the meaning of their tattoos. But <laughs> oh, honestly, no bullshit. I got this um Mexican style that shit looks uh, Chicana fun. art. It says "Don't need no one," and I uh, don't oh, know. I just feel like killed the piece. I like this, this axe it's from God of War. Oh, yeah, to God of War. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. is that from the um, new one? It's from the first the first one before Ragnarok. Bro, oh. that game was so fucking good. That game you you played the whole thing. I'm assuming. No, I got busy. What? I gotta beat it. Now I remember I gotta beat that shit. You got a tattoo from it, and you didn't even bit, nah, beat I've been, the game. I've been playing it since I was younger. You feel me? Yeah, nah, <laughs> bro. God of War. Did you, did you ever play Twisted Metal? When you were young? Hell yeah, on PS2. Yeah, Twisted bro. Metal? They just came out with a fucking show for it. They came out with a TV show. Bro, this shit Yo, came out hold like up. two I months ago. I fuck with you, bro. Nah, nah, <laughs> feel me. I fuck with y'all, but nah, feel me. Twisted Metal, bro. You gonna lock in some memories now, bro. Dude, Purple bro. World shit. I literally had no idea that this shit came out. And it came out like what two months on? ago. It's on Peacock. They got a whole 10 episode fucking show out of it, bro. I had no idea this shit came out like a month ago. That shit ago, probably bro. fire too. Bro, it, it's honestly, <laughs> it's corny, but get through the first episode and it gets good. The first episode, you're gonna probably be like, what the fuck? This is, <laughs> you're gonna be like, what? But nah, it gets good. They got like Anthony Mackie in that shit. I forget who else is in it, but. Sweet Tooth is fucking crazy. Like, they got Sweet Tooth the exact same way. The clown motherfucker. They got him the exact same way that he was in the video game. Like, you remember the clown with the ice cream truck and the fucking fire Yeah, that's what hair? I think of. Yep, that's what I yep, think of. No bullshit. Bro. That shit used to be scary when we were kids, I used to suck bro. at that game, though. I don't know why. I, I was ass at it, too, bro. I used to always launch it, though. <laughs> I didn't give a fuck. I would do the same shit. I was terrified of that fucking cover for some reason, bro. I remember, like... 
I used to have certain video game covers. I was a bitch when I was a kid, bro. I would have certain video game covers or movie covers that I was scared of. So I would do the shit where you turn it inside out and Twisted Metal every time I would see fucking Sweet Tooth's face on the cover, bro. I just took that fucking sleeve. I know what you're talking about, like on the PS2 games. Yeah, like, on the, like, was it Twi- I think it was Twisted Metal Black. It was just like half of his face. It was yeah. an all black cover and it was half of just the clown just, face, bro. Yeah, it was kind of creepy, you know, bullshit. When I, was young, I remember that shit being creepy as fuck. Bro, that, <laughs> what else was on PS2? Fucking Resident Evil, that shit was creepy as fuck, I remember back then ps2 is like the best console you play kingdom hearts bro, <laughs> bro. i'm unlocking the memories bro, know, you said I, you were I, a streamer i know my i know my family and friends are gonna watch this they're gonna be like hell yeah i fuck with that shit bro. kingdom hearts that's my shit bro. bro the music the intro the intro music is always crazy bro, bro. that should give you the chills i like it too because they they involve like stuff from your childhood like yeah mickey goofy all that shit did you ever play the new one yeah, I didn't finish it. I'm pathetic. I, I didn't finish it either. Yo, they got another one coming out, though. Really? This is one's going to be crazy. Is this one four or five? I don't even know. I forget what's going on. It's giving me Final Fantasy too, vibes. Shh, damn. I never played Final Fantasy. Oh, matter of fact, That's it's connected to Final Fantasy. Game. Really? Oh, yeah, it is. I forgot, yeah. bro. Yo, I they're full of right? See, that about they did that it smart. Shit. That's a good, like, marketing, like, bro. That shit is fucking crazy. Just like, just like Fortnite. That's why Fortnite goes crazy, because they incorporate shit from... They got fucking everything. They got DB. They got Dragon Ball Z on that shit. They got Dragon Ball Z. They got what? John Wick. They got fucking they got John Star Wick. Wars. Now nah, there was one. Everything. There was one that they dropped recently where I was like, "What the fuck?" Like they got uh, crazy. The Travis Scott shit. I know they have. They have mad random shit, bro. Like way too much shit. I think they did a McDonald's fucking thing. Fortnite's done everything. Whoever made We're that shit one, is a and genius. it's fucking crazy. <sighs> they did a Marvel one. I know. Travis. We said Travis already. There was another one. It was an artist, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm sure heated. it was an artist, bro. I'm heated. I don't know what it is. What the fuck? I don't even know, bro. They just do fucking way too much shit. That's the thing. They just do way too much fucking. I haven't kept up with Fortnite for a good two or three years at this point, but I'm surprised that that game dragged on for fucking. So I'm not surprised, though. I was talking about how they incorporated all that shit, honestly. Oh, shit. My bad. Fucking. Do you still be gaming mad? How you said you wanted the stream? Is that is that your like leisure activity or not? Nah, as much? I ain't gonna stream. That shit ain't for me. No, I'm talking about gaming in general. Oh, gaming, yeah. yo, I want to, but I'm pathetic, bro. Like I'm gonna get fucking addicted to that shit. And I ain't gonna get no videos done, bro. I'm the <laughs> same. Hey, when, when I was playing Apex, that's what you was locked in doing. I wasn't getting no fucking videos done, and then at one point I was like, all right, I gotta, I gotta shut this shit off. I'm staying away from the video games. That shit bad for me. Yeah, I'm the same exact That shit have drugged me. <laughs> Bro, I, I fucking, I went in the Best Buy because I was getting, um, I forget what, I, I was getting fucking film or some shit. And I fucking go in and I asked the dude joking around and I'm like, yo, you guys got any PS5s? And he's like, yeah. So I got my little brother one and then I, I was like, if you guys got another one, the next day I'm going to buy it. So I went back and then the, I got it. I played fucking PS5 for like a week straight and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm not. I need to stay away from this shit because I just got yeah. no work done. And then I would, literally for we like... We can't play games, bro. Bro, for like we got shit three to do, months, bro. I would do the same shit, bro. Literally, do over fucking dope, bro. Yeah, Don't play video got, games. <laughs> we ain't playing games here, bro. No more games. Bro, it's too addictive. Church. I don't know if you have an addictive personality, but I have an addictive personality, bro. And especially with video games. Like, I do. You just... Because I've seen it. I, I realized it when I was playing... Video. Oh. I was playing my boy Ailes right here. I was playing <laughs> Call of Duty, bro. I was on that shit every day. <laughs> Bro, dude. Yo, when I woke up, when I went to sleep, I'd be like calling this dude, like, yo, he's like, yo, I gotta, I gotta put him, I got my kid right now, I gotta put him to sleep. I'm like, <laughs> Bro, I used to play Maybe it's a good thing he had his kid, cause then now, when we play by myself, I'm like, all right, fuck this. Yeah. Off this shit now. Games be so addicting. When I was in middle school, I played card fucking competitively, and I would just, bro, I would go to sleep at like eight in the morning. Or like seven in the morning, go to school at eight in the morning, fall asleep all day throughout Regret school, it. get home, take a little two hour nap, and just do the same shit. That was like two or three years of my life. I don't even know how I didn't just like drop at some point from doing that. Yo, shit. I know I'm talking mad shit about the games, but we might have to. Bro, I see, but that's the problem, bro. Whenever I talk about it with people, I'm like, yo, I want to play, I want to play. But then that one game is gonna just turn into a fucking uh, no. spiral. It's gonna, ha- I know, I'm gonna end up getting. Dude, that's gotta why, go back to my roots, bro. That's what always happens with me. Occasionally, I go back, I play fucking zombies on COD, bro. And I just oh, get that's in a rabbit hole. That's the last thing I got addicted to, fucking zombies, bro. Bro, zombies, so fun. 
Black Ops 3 Zombies is fucking elite. That's the one. Bro, that shit I fuck with Moon. Elite. Bro, Moon, Moon is crazy. Moon was another thing when I was younger. I was fucking scared of that shit. It's it's creepy, no bullshit, but yeah, come around that map. Bro, zombies in general, like, I remember fucking, I think I was in, like, second or third grade, maybe younger when fucking World at War came out. And I remember being fucking terrified of the fucking zombie shit. It's creepy, bro. Yo, especially, like, so I got this. I think it's a mod. It's a mod for um zombies. So like, oh, do you be playing on PC? Yeah, I be playing oh, on PC. So like they bro. sound different. Like the way they got it, I'm like, damn, like who the fuck is that screaming? It's this zombie coming at me. Oh, okay, like that should sound. Oh, the dogs, the dogs, they sound like crazy, bro. It's like scary ass chihuahuas. All like, of them the shit, bro. When fucking the shit just fat me, your soul. That shit you scared the shit out of me, bro. That shit was kind of creepy, no bullshit. Like I couldn't play that shit alone when I was younger. Oh god, bro. Oh god, I'm the. I need a four man with me, not yeah, even a two man. Bro. We four people, bro. I, I, literally, bro. I'd be playing fucking split screen on that shit. It wouldn't even be Xbox Live. Like, yo, we fucking squatting up playing zombies <laughs> today. Fucking four players split screen, bro. Those are the days, though. What other what, what shit you do just to fucking like chill? Or is it just work, work, work? I like to I like to start the day. I like to go to the gym. Um or I'll just bullshit. I'll probably do laundry. I can't I can't wake up and go straight to editing. Cause like I feel like there's something that I'm missing to do. I was like, feel me? But that really like gets me right. I'm like, alright, I feel like I did something. I feel like every every um filmer, cinematographer, whatever, I feel like you should go to the gym in the morning. You'll feel like you'd be out something accomplished other aside from editing. Feel me? Go make it better, some shit. I don't know. You know what oh. I mean? Like, go clean your car or some shit. People go outside for a few. Don't just be editing, editing, editing. You don't burn yourself out. That's whack. You gotta make it fun. People be sleeping too. If you fucking don't have a productive day, I don't know about you, but I feel I, like a bitch. If yeah, I don't bro. Like when when you're like going to bed, you're like, what did I do today? Like, Damn, I did the yeah. bare minimum. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> like what the fuck? But when you fucking get up, like you were saying, you go make your bed, fucking. Go to the gym. Don't make your do bed. Whatever. Eat your breakfast. Bro, I always say to people, Take out trash. <laughs> it's like the fucking biggest psychological thing. It's a proven thing. I forget if I read it in a book or if I saw someone talking about it on YouTube. But if you make your bed every day, first thing when you get up, when you get out of bed, it's a proven fact that you'll have a more productive day than if you didn't. Hell yeah. It's like a legit. It's definitely a nice. Thing. It's a nice foundation it to is, being productive. Right? Especially too, then you get you get home, you have like a fucking. Depending what type of psychopath you are, you either have a normal work day or you have a fucking 12, 14 hour work day. You get home, your sheets all a mess and shit, your fucking pillows on the floor, whatever the fuck, and then you're just miserable when you get into bed. But climbing into a freshly made bed at night, that should be elite. Some, <laughs> some person, even if it's just one person, they're about to see us and be like, damn, make their bed right now. Oh, God, bro. Up. Make your fucking bed if you're so, that person. Got people making their bed at nine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's too late. Start tomorrow. Dude, it's so <laughs> true, though. It's, it's little shit like that that. The older you get, you realize how much shit contributes to just, like, it's mental the health things. and shit, bro. Literally. It's the like little things. Having a clean room. Ha the way you were talking about cleaning the car. If you got fucking... I've had moments, because I drive for work, bro. I've had moments where I got fucking piles of fucking shit in my car, mad empty water bottles and shit. And then when you go clean your car, you're like, damn, this feels way better. Like, yep. way better. No bullshit. You be sleeping on how much fucking the little ass things be affecting just day to day life, bro. <laughs> day to day life it could be the most simple shit. The way you were talking earlier about eating healthy, I want to ask you that because you said you were fucking out there. I'm someone who I've always had a terrible diet. I've been trying to get my diet better, and whenever I do do a good spree of doing it better, all the other shit tastes like shit to me. Like when I eat like yeah. processed shit, I'm like, dude, I feel like fucking shit. Oh no, hell yeah, but when I like, so I just got back from from Houston and shit. Like, I'm breaking out just a little bit. Ain't nothing serious. I was drinking my water and shit, but, like, I noticed that I was eating, like, some of the fried food. That shit, feel me? I'm starting to learn, like, myself more. Like, if that makes sense. Even even mentally, feel me? I'm still learning. But, yeah, I'm appreciating, like, everything. But, yeah, like, back to the diet and shit, like, yeah. You feel a lot better ever since you started eating clean? Yeah, yeah. I, got, I told you, I got back home. I needed that home-cooked meal. Yeah. <laughs> like, that shit. Righteous. Uh -huh. People be sleeping on that too. Fucking, I need to get on that, bro. I never be eating at home because I'm just always out. The only thing I'll eat at home is fucking sandwiches. Ah, <laughs> uh, you got to get the get the rice cooker, easy shit. Bro, I can't be cooking shit. I Throw your chicken in some breadcrumbs. Boom, air bro. fryer. You're good, bro. Twenty minutes. I need that, bro. I I need to use we Chef have Hollow. Air, fryer, <laughs> air fryer. I don't be using that shit. I fucking 
I'm scared to cook ever since. What did I say? I've set two grilled cheese on fire. I've oh said God, you gotta watch that shit. You probably be going to the bathroom while grilled cheese. No, on high, I'll, right? I'll just be fucking <laughs> pressing it down, bro, and then that shit just go. Bro, I set fucking. I've told this story before on the podcast, and people are probably tired of hearing it. My dumbass, bro, I fucking forgot to put water in um the macaroni cup. <laughs> And I set one of them shits on fire. Oh yo. man! Yeah, I know what you're <laughs> like, talking about. The fire department had to go to my mom's crib and everything. I felt so fucking bad, bro. The whole house just filled up with smoke. I'm like, what the fuck? I thought the microwave blew up. Come to find out, bro. Literally, that shit was just uh, fucking. Oh yeah, never mind. Fuck squished it. Squish black. Whatever was, you're doing, do it, bro. Bro, don't yeah. be cooking no more, bro. <laughs> I'll be scared to cook. Hey, yo, bro. don't don't burn down purple world, bro. We need bro, this shit. Yeah, yeah, no, we don't. We, we do this. not need a kitchen no cooking in, in here. here. <laughs> no, no kitchen in here. If not hey, me, bro, listen, someone listen. else. But we be cooking up though, but we don't need a kitchen. Oh God, oh God, no kitchen, bro. <laughs> fucking, what other um habits do you think that over the past year and a half of getting serious about fucking being a videographer? What habits do you think you've built into your schedule that you didn't have before this videography shit that just helped you overall as a person slash with the videos? Um, can. Can you repeat that in a shorter sentence? My fault. I'm you good. You good. No, fucking people People be doing the exact same shit. I just mm-hmm. phrase shit like a dumbass sometimes. Just habits that nah, you picked me. up. That's me. No, I be doing the same. Bro, trust me. I Ryan's my witness. I have mad <laughs> people that be saying the exact same shit. Because when I talk, I just talk to people how I would talk to them off camera. So I'm not like, yep. oh, I need to ask this question properly. It's just coming. I don't That's write I fuck any with questions you. down. I appreciate it. it, bro. I appreciate it. Um, But not just habits you picked up that... You feel like fucking you needed to pick up as a person that you sort of learned through this videography shit or just that they either help you as a person overall or they help with the videography shit. Just good habits. Um, Being more vocal. Like, I'm really like, believe it or not, I'm really laid back. You seem it. You like, seem laid back. We're too laid back, but being more vocal. I mean, people respect you like way more and shit. Like, I mean, obviously, obviously, you got to know how to shut the fuck up, but like. That's definitely one of them. What else? Um, also, too, whatever bad habits you had to break. Uh, waking up late. Uh, when I was in Houston and shit, I had um, Bozo. Jay from Bozo. He was up early working every day. Like, yo, we got to go film this shit. He was up at like 8, Damn. 7 a.m. And then when I got home, I was just waking up at 7, 8 a.m. You feel me? Like, I was like, all right, fuck with this shit. Like, I'm about to get shit done now. Like, I was waking up at, like, 12, 1, yeah. and the whole day's gone. Like, I, what the fuck? Like, I couldn't even hit the gym. Like, now I got to do it now, and then I got to shoot. Like, but, yeah, like, definitely appreciate that. Feel me? He put me on to game and shit. I fuck with him. He's definitely about to be, like, a pioneer in this this mass area for the, for the music and his brand and shit. You know what I mean? But, yeah. What do you feel like your biggest flaw is as far as the videos go? My biggest flaw um, is, like, I'll I be spacing out too much. Like, someone will ask me a question, and I'll just be, like, spaced out. I want to work on it, though. But, yeah. I'll be telling people, too, like, yo, my fault. Like, I don't even mean that shit. I'll just be, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing that shit to people all the time, bro. I'm awful at answering DMs. That's my fucking biggest flaw. <laughs> I always say, bro, I'm so Need a schedule for that, like, at midnight. And see, that's I'm why I noticed too, because like, it. yeah, I know what you're talking about. Because when I'll be like talking to like a client or somebody, and somebody will be asking me, so I'll be like, "Can you repeat that?" Bro. I'll be like, "I'm sorry, I was just talking to somebody." Like, yeah. and then you forget to answer that person because you get caught in the other conversation. Next thing you know, yeah. you left them on. Now I look for rude. Nine hours. Yeah, and then just need to be more organized with that shit. Bro. Getting organized is like, if you if you were a person who's always been unorganized. Getting organized initially is a fucking nightmare, but it is so worth it once you do. It is so worth it once you do, bro. Launch the notes app. (laughs) Shout out Apple. Bro, just don't make fucking 10,000 million notes for everything because I did that. and now That's what I be doing. Bro, my shit's so unorganized now. Got to go in the little fucking top bar and just type shit. Delete it. Bro, just type shit and hope you find the right fucking note. (laughs) Basically. That's how it fucking be. But what do you feel like um, in your videography journey, fucking something that somebody taught you that was very impactful? It could be a lesson, direct skill, something along like that. I'm trying to think. Damn. 
I know I got a good answer. It's just not coming right now. Fuck. Can you ask it again? My fault. Nah, just, I feel like if you ask it again, I'll... just a good um like lesson or a skill that somebody else taught you along the way type shit that you need. You feel like you fucking needed. Honestly, I can't think of it right now, but I know like my my boy IB. Um, feel me. He be he be teaching me a lot. I be in feel me. I be in touch with. I be in um in contact with him and shit. And like he really helps me, and I know he's watching me like grow. Feel me? I feel like I'm in my character development um ever right now. Like learn a lot about myself. So feel me? I don't really got too many people I could really like call and like tell about my problems and shit. But he be hearing me out. Do be in the gym answering me like, "Yo, what's up, Hollow? Like, chop it up with me." Feel me? I just tell him tell him certain shit. Feel me? He'd be like, I bet. Like blah blah blah. Nigga would just hear me out. I mean, feel me. my boy would just hear me out and shit. So yeah, definitely appreciate him. I can't think of exactly what, but like. I mean, having people like that around are always good. Uh, it means a lot because, like, like all right, you got you got people you could talk to. Like, yeah, I, I got more people I could talk to, but someone that will, that will understand that's been there, that's been in certain, really specific certain situations. Feel me? Not everybody's been in the same situation as you, so you're not gonna go look. Feel me? But definitely appreciate him. It's always fire to have people like that around. Yeah. Shit, we got like two more questions left though. And what's it say? Is it right after an hour? Did I get it right? Look at the thing right there. Is it a little? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A little over an hour. Damn, it's been an hour, bro. Time yeah, to fly. Yeah, see, bro, you don't even realize. That's crazy. You don't even be realized. And the only reason I just fucking was like, oh, I got a couple questions because I got to go fucking back to work soon. But fucking, this is the one you see mad reels of. Fucking, I'm so tired of asking this. Actually, no, I'm asking it the way I've been asking it because it's fucking better. I want you to give for anybody that's picking up a camera for the first time or they might have not even got a camera. They're just trying to fucking start shooting music videos or they could be like your boy trying to start a brand. They could be just doing fucking anything creative. If they haven't taken any steps yet, I want you to give them your biggest piece of advice for something they should do and something they should absolutely not do. Two separate ones. You could just do the do, and then I'll ask you. you. Don't have to. Um, just fucking do it, bro. You got an idea? Do that shit. And if people ain't pushing around you, you gotta switch your circle. You gotta, you gotta reevaluate your friends. If they, ain't, if you're telling them an idea and they ain't telling you, like, yo, go, go fucking do that shit. Oh, you, you said you want to pick up a camera, bro. You should be shooting right now. What you doing? Go hit up, go hit up homie. Go shoot a video with him. Or like, you know what I mean, like, just be around the right people and shit. And don't be afraid. And if you're not around the right people. Don't be afraid to like reach out to other people. Other people will take you under their wing and fuck with you. For real, for real, they will. And what would you say the biggest don't is? Don't be scary, bro. Don't be scary and um. Don't do bad business. Like, be be a good person. You feel me? You're talking about bad business. So I meant to ask you this. No one asked people. Did you go through the fucking phase of? Either fucking not getting payments up front and people running off without paying you or fucking not getting deposit, shit like that. Did you make any fuck-ups in your business structure originally that you were like, damn, I would never do this shit now <laughs> that you would advise um, people not to do? Um, nah, for the most part, you feel me? Everybody yeah. I fuck with is good business and shit. Um, I will say one thing, though. Don't fuck with Cash App or Apple Pay unless you are like an LLC. Really? Yeah, because I was doing that and feel me? I got like... They're trying to get 1500 for me Damn. on the IRS. But it ain't nothing but still, like, feel me? I didn't know that shit was going to catch up to me like that, but fuck it. Damn. What the fuck? Get that shit. But, yeah, if you're starting off, know. if you don't got an LLC, just, you got, feel me, do hand to hand, like, under the table. Damn. Damn. Get your payment up front. I didn't even know that because I've had that. I, I never had a personal cash app account, but I did not even know that. Damn. Yeah, they got me. Damn, They going to get you. <laughs> IRS. Bro, who else? Oh, okay. Nick Nick was on here. Nick <laughs> Nick was different. I forget what happened, but fucking someone else was talking about how they got audited. And I was like, I never thought in a million years I would be talking about taxes and shit yeah, on this because podcast. I don't know why, because Cash Up, they, they didn't tell me that. Like, They didn't give me no forms. Like, You know when you work at a job, they give yeah. you forms and shit. You got filed. No, nah, they just went straight. So I'm like, oh, okay, I see it. Hey, no biggie, but I'm just like, I see how y'all playing the game now. I right, see no more. Uh, hey. Definitely listen to that. <laughs> that was useful. Um, but fucking last question. Actually, you know what I realized I didn't have you do in the intro, bro? I need to. This, it's good that I don't structure these, but at the same time, I just be forgetting shit. If 
fucking i never even gave you like a chance to introduce yourself and give people the rundown of what you do i know at this point they know that you're a videographer but yeah. normally i give people just like fucking minute or however long they want to just explain themselves as a person type shit and you want to do that before we fucking wrap um, up i want to i'm a, I'm a filmer for me from new bedford and shit I'm, I'm, i specialize in like videos in my opinion like I be doing videos, but like I said, I'm trying to be a jack of all trades. I'm trying to do photos, at all that shit. But I also want to be someone that like connects people. I want to be the person that like feel me. If you got a problem with this person, I feel like I want to dead that so we can all like do good business and like we can all just eat. And feel me, I know I can't do it all the time, but like for the most part, I want to be like someone that like connects other people. Like like my boy Al's. I want him. I want him to get on this and like. Feel me? Cause you never know what could come about from it. Maybe you guys will like do business, and if you guys are doing good, it will come back to me. Maybe I'll do good. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah, I just want to like, I want to help connect, um, other artists or other artists like producers. But feel me? I just want to like, I want to be a big part of like the mass like music scene. Like, feel me? So yeah, to I you. Want to see everybody do good and shit, bro. Salute to you for wanting to be a doc. And cause. if I can't, if I if I don't end up. Fuck it, at least I tried, you feel me? Like, uh, oh, yeah. uh, bro, respect for that, because a lot of people will just be like, me, 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 me. <laughs> hey, that's how motherfuckers be, like be bro. Don't be like that. <laughs> motherfuckers be like that. They're like, they yeah, gonna stay away from you if you do that. I need to blow up. You're gonna be stuck in the hood. <laughs> like, that's what motherfuckers be like, bro. Like, shut the <laughs> fuck up. Shut the fuck, fuck up. <laughs> it be fucked up, but so many people, bro. Like, nah, nah, I, I be acting like I'm, I'm not blind to that. I, I be seeing people do that shit all the time. Yeah, I be looking at them like, People in the entertainment industry, you meet the most entitled motherfuckers that are just egotistical as fuck. Just yeah, I ain't gonna lie though. The bigger artists I work with, they're like, I ain't gonna lie, they're like more humble than some of like bro, the local dude. That's how it be nine times out of ten. I say this to people all the time, bro. I have these motherfuckers that they get like ten thousand streams and they think they're the shit. Yeah. That walk in fucking my motherfuckers that get a thousand streams and they're just egotistical thinking they're the shit. But then I've had fucking. Like three Patriots players in here that are the most down to earth fucking people that I know they got a fucking thirty <laughs> yeah. million dollar fucking salary and they just fucking are more genuine than ninety percent of the people that come through and it's like, bro, this shit is just anyone watching this, I'm sure you've seen a lot of the reels because people have been fucking talking about it, but do not be entitled. Nobody owes you shit. There's nothing fucking special about you. You're not fucking Drake, you're not stay fucking humble. Obama, you're like not whatever said, the fuck. Yeah, literally stay humble, stay humble bro. <laughs> stay humble. Fucking you see the video of J. Cole riding around fucking the bikes the other day in New York, just acting like a regular ass dude. You see fucking Keanu Reeves fucking riding the subway all the fucking time and shit. Like it's bro, normal, just be human, bro. That's what I mean, bro. Like there's, We all there's, shit at the end of the day. There's no God complexes and we need a fucking extinction of God complexes because y'all motherfuckers is not shit. We're not shit. Like not in a I disrespectful shit, way, yeah. Like not in a disrespectful way. Like, don't get us wrong. We got, we got, we got shit. <laughs> we got shit, and we're not absolutely valueless. But in reality, bro, even motherfuckers that got fucking everything, quote unquote. There's how many fucking billions of people in the world, bro? That shit is like a fucking molecule. Of you water. can be replaced. Yeah, bro. You can be replaced. So, literally, like play a cause, right? But um, nah, I'm gonna say it again. I know my fit time. I'm just I appreciate the fuck out you having me. Bro. I appreciate you. This is this is on, big bro. right here. This you about I about to go crazy, it, bro. bro. I appreciate it. Caught a vibe here, no bullshit. Oh, thank you for fucking coming on. Before I forget, fucking twenty twenty three goals, real quick. Before we fucking wrap it up, what's your goals for the year? Even though it's already almost fucking over. I got some shit planned, but you gonna keep gonna it see. on rap? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it on rap. Okay, Trying to okay. move low key out here. Shit. <laughs> fucking tag yourself, um, your Instagram real quick too. Just let them know where they can find your YouTube videos um, and shit. On Instagram, Shop by Hollow. Yeah. And then just look up Shop by Hollow on, <laughs> Yo, on YouTube. YouTube to find the music videos. Yeah. You could probably see like my new one with Kwani and shit. Yeah. Shit. I appreciate you coming on the show, bro. I appreciate you, bro. No bullshit. Bro. Shout out to Hollow. Shout out to Chris, too. I'm going to give you the fucking shout, shout out. Shout out, Chris. Shout out, Church. Shout out all my all my family and friends back home. Feel me? I know I'm probably... Shout out Brockton. Hello, all y'all, bro. Appreciate everybody. Like, can't say it enough. Everybody, whenever they make the shout outs, they feel bad that they forget a bunch of people. But GP, Jose, <laughs> <P. Dappa, laughs> Nick Dolo, 
You ever remember in all I the goddamn say, names? Uh, my boy yells dang demons. Feel me? Like everybody. Bro, check out any of those people if you guys want to fucking tap in. I'm assuming a good amount of them are from New Bedford too. But I don't know why my barber just texted me. I'm about to check that. <laughs> but mm-hmm. y'all know the fucking drill. Follow yep. the man. On fucking Instagram, check out the YouTube videos. Just look up Shop by Hollow, and I'm sure you guys will find some videos. Run up that Quanti video. Be on the lookout for that Sports Boy shit. And once again, you dumbass motherfuckers, if you that that like button on some corny YouTube shit, if that shit is not fucking blue, you're a dumbass motherfucker. Even though you're a supporter, I fucking love you. He's real. Fuck with him, bro. If that, that you button feel. is not blue, click that shit right the fuck now. I'll send you a dollar if you can prove it to me. Yo, this is live. I know it's a dumb question. No, it's not. Oh, okay, it's okay, not, okay, but I'm going to fucking hold. You guys can <laughs> hold me accountable. If anybody makes it this far in the video, that's what I'm going to start doing. If you fucking made it this far in the video and you can prove to me that you like this shit, I will send you a dollar. I know it's not a lot, but I appreciate it. <laughs> that man is like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't be a dumbass. <laughs> Purple World episode 71. We'll see you next week. I don't know. I think Donald's grunge might be the fucking next episode, but I'm not sure if he's not that. He's the one after, so we'll see. Peace out. Toodaloo, motherfuckers. I bet niggas run, yo, when I tap that fully. New Celine glasses just to match my hoodie. It is weak, I made 30. Put that on my kids. It ain't nothing but pints of wine.